Today I'm going to make some bug screens for our port lights. When we are in Georgia or anywhere kind of in the south Chesapeake, uh, we've noticed that we've had a lot of noceums on the boat. And the bug screens that are currently part of our port lights that came with the boat um, are not a tight enough weave to keep those little buggers out. So I'm going to make some pretty makeshift bug screens with some noceum netting and some file folders, believe it or not. Um, this is the template. You can see how high-tech I am that I made this summer um, on a piece of paper towel. And I will sew them all together with my Sailrite sewing machine. So I will take a little bit more footage and show you how this is going to work. So the netting that we got is this Equinox Noceum netting. Um, it is 40, 54 by 60 inches and we got it on Amazon. And if you open it up, it's one big sheet. But as you can see, it is really fine netting. And we are going to use this um, in not only the port lights, but also in the companionway and in the um, forward hatch over the V-berth um, so that we can get airflow throughout the boat, but also keep these little bugs out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the uh, template that I made on the paper towel so that I can trace it onto the plastic of the poly file folders. Alright, so this is the interior um, of the metal part of the inside of the port lights. So these uh, bug screens are going to be able to be attached from the inside of the boat. So you won't have to go out into the bugs, get attacked, let them in as you open up the companionway hatch. Um, to affix the you know bug screens to the outside. These you're going to be able to put on um, from inside the boat. So if you're going to err on the side of caution, you would want to make this just slightly bigger um, than the inside of your uh, port light. Because when I get to the boat, if they're just a little too big, I can always trim them down to fit. The next thing that I'm going to do is trace the template onto the plastic uh, file folder. Alright, once you have one cut out, you can use that one as your template. For the rest, it's a lot easier to trace um, on the plastic than it is to use, in my case, uh, the paper towel. So I'm going to cut out another piece of plastic from the same file. And you're going to need two pieces of plastic that are exactly the same size um, for each of your port lights. Alright, the next thing that I did is I drew a circle or an oval that I'm going to cut out of each of the pieces that is going to be where the bug screen is actually going to be. Um, I left uh, three quarters of an inch on the outside to be able to give it some stability and also in case I need to trim a little bit when I get to the boat there's still going to be enough plastic there to hold these rigidly in place inside of the port lights. And I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to trace it onto the other one and cut that out as well. Okay so this is the next step. I cut out the interior of my first piece of plastic and now I'm going to trace it onto my second piece of plastic. The next thing that you're going to do is cut a piece of your noceum fabric and you're going to place it in between the two pieces of plastic that you have, like this. And then you're just going to sew a double stitch 
so two lines around the outside of this so that it's stronger and then you just trim off the uh, excess netting and you're good to go. I'm going to use a little bit of double-sided basting tape to help keep everything in place because the plastic and the netting are both really slippery and so it makes it a lot harder to sew. So I'm going to put some on both sides and stick it all together before I put it under the um, sewing machine. So did I mention that that plastic was going to be slippery? Can you see my sewing? It is all over the place, not even close to straight. But it doesn't really matter because these are not the prettiest thing in the world in the first place and all they have to do is work and they're mostly going to be in the you know port lights at night. We're not going to really see them and we're going to just be so thankful that we're not getting bit to death that it's not really going to matter what they look like. So this is what a finished one looks like. I might do another row stitching like I said just to make sure they're secure but there you have it. I've got uh, nine more to make.